everyone, it's Nona Grace and I'm from Western New York. I got a little question in my comments and it was from Life with Patty. Patty asked why I don't let my hens go broody. Well, I've got some really good reasons why you don't let a hen go broody. When a hen is broody, they don't lay eggs and the whole purpose of having the hens is to have them lay eggs. When they're broody, that could cause stress on their health. I had a hen, Emma, who used to love going broody. She actually would be very disappointed when she wouldn't hatch any chicks out. So she'd sit and watch another hen and then she, and because of that she wasn't eating very much. If you don't have enough space, you can't have a lot of chickens. You have to make sure you have enough space for the chickens that you have. You have to make sure you're ready for chicks. You have to have the, the chick f food and special waterers for them and a space for them to be in when after they're hatched because if you don't have that it makes it very difficult. They can't eat the food that the mother hen eats. They have to have chick starter. The hens have a temperament change when they're broody. They sometimes become aggressive and snap at you, which I've had a few, and then some come become very docile. The very docile ones are the ones that I let if they're going to be broody, I will let them be broody because they're a nicer hen to begin with. The nasty hens that get nastier when they're when they're broody and they have chicks that are not very nice usually. Caring for a broody hen sometimes takes a little extra care because you have to make sure they have their food and their water and it's separate from the other hens. In Patty's comment she mentioned that it seemed mean. It is a mean it's mean not to let the hens go broody, but there are special ways that you can help them. In my video that I'm going to share with you, you'll see my timeout coop, and that's the best way to to actually calm a broody hen. They say it's it's as long as you don't leave them in there too long. I only leave them in three days. When you ha have a broody hen, you also have to have a good, safe place for them to have raise their chicks because the other hens will actually hurt the chicks. They they don't like the chicks when they're first born. So you, I, I actually have a maternity house that I put my chicks in so that they can eat and sleep and be underneath their mama and their mama not have to worry about the other hens fighting them off because she will fight them off when they get too close to her babies. Well, let's go to the video that I have for you. I hope you have a cup of coffee because it's rather long. So let's just go to that video and you can see the houses that I have. I was watching a video today that was talking about coops. So I thought I would share with you my coops that I have. For the main coop, I have an electric door, an automatic door opener, so that the chickens can go in and out at will. I also have, a it's a large door so I can walk in, which I will walk into this coop and show you what I have inside. I have six nesting boxes so the girls don't have to crowd into them. Little lady is looking for a spot. She wants to lay an egg, apparently. But she probably wants the one that the black hen is in. They all seem to want the same box. Little Thunder is just standing there. Thunder, did you lay an egg? Or are you going to lay an egg? Or are you just... Oh, she just... Oh, she says, well, how dare you peck me? I'll peck you right back. And that's exactly what little lady did. Most of the pooping is done at night and it's underneath the roosting bars. So you want to make sure you have good roosting bars and keep your roosting bars cleaned off so that they don't get parasites in their bottoms. Also have I also have an automatic feeder for the chickens. What it is is they we fill it in the top. 
and then underneath is where they get the food. Because chickens like to dust bathe year round, we actually have a dirt area for them. The little hen that's in there must have been dust bathing. That's the one that's losing her feathers. Silver is in there too. I see that little bit of whitish looking and it's silver. But this is so that they can dust bathe in the winter and summer if they wish to. There's the girls in the dust bathe area. I can see them walking around. There's quite a few in there. I also have a water that's sitting on a chimney. This way it can be plugged in and it won't freeze in the winter. Now we'll go out and see the other two coops, the ones that I use, one for the maternity when, it, when I have a broody hen that wants to hatch and one for when they are broody and I don't want them to hatch any chicks out. I actually have three little coops. This one is used for the baby chicks. I have it where I put electricity and a heating pad in there because they don't have, if, if I happen to buy them from the farm store. This coop is for the maternity hens, the ones that go broody and they have baby chicks that they're going to hatch out. And I put them in here because it has nesting boxes. It has three nesting boxes in here. And this way I can put the food and the water for the baby chicks so when they hatch the others are not trying to get their food. And they have enough space that they can move around in it. This is the house I use for when, they're, when they are broody. And I don't want them to hatch out any chicks. I took the nesting boxes out. Jim be built some roosting bars in there so they can sit up in there. Low little ladies look alike. She's checking out the door. I just opened it. She's going to go in there. She can come out the other door. I put them in there is so that they can still see the other hens and they can also cool off so that they won't be wanting to, to have babies. It is a cruel but it's the most kind way to do it if you really don't want more chicks. This one has a side door also so when I when the chicks are broody I take them out of the big house I open this door and we put them in there.
this is the back of the big chicken house and it has a window there which gets really dusty and dirty from the chickens but it gives them a lot of ventilation they have a lot of ventilation in that house there's windows that open that Jim put in so that they can have air the chickens really need to be ventilated this way stay warmer and clear when they need to be it stops the moisture from building up in there When the weather is nice, I have lots of water containers for the chickens. <coughs> they are very thirsty and they always need to drink a lot. You have to make sure that they have good food and water. That's my bird that is Molting. She really looks scruffy. They really look bad when they're molting. They are so funny looking. They've, she's lost her tail, she's lost her neck feathers, and she lost a lot of other feathers. Fred is out and about. He walks around and he's probably going to follow me to the door when I go to get the camera in the house. And he will want his food. Here comes Fred. Fred enjoys a treat. I I wasn't low enough. Fred enjoys the treat. It's also a 50-50 shot whether you get a hen or if you get a rooster. Chances you know, are we get more roosters than yeah, hens. Usually we, we have, yeah. There was an old wives' tale that was saying that they used to, they try to figure out what the egg is going to be before it's hatched, and they were saying that it doesn't work though. That the rounder the egg, the rounder egg is supposed to be a female, and the longer the egg is supposed to be a male. Then they were saying about color of the egg, but I have no idea. Yeah. None of those really work. I've tried the rounder egg, and I've actually gotten. A rooster out of that so who knows who knows it's too bad the only way you could do it is if you have to do a DNA on the egg itself to find out whether it's going to be a boy or a girl but that would be very expensive take your chances take your chance and even they were saying even chicks that you buy at the store that are supposed to be all female we ended up with two males yep. which is sad like, yeah it was especially when you think you're getting all female I did better when I sexed him myself on in the first batch that we bought, but that that was only the first batch, and that one I did good. But the two before that, I thought they were girls, and they were actually two roosters, which would have been a big mistake. Mm -hmm. I gave those back to my brother because those were what I was going to start with. Was two two chicks is what I wanted to start with, and now I've got twenty or twenty one chicks and three roosters. Mm -hmm. The roosters are doing okay. They seem to be getting along, which is very unusual. Usually roosters don't get along. But because I've got the automatic door, they go in after dark and come out before daylight, so they're probably not noticed. That's probably the way they're keeping the peace in the hen house. Mm -hmm. And Fred tends to go out of the fence quite often during the day, too, so he's separated himself. Barney has stayed in the fenced area, which oh, I'm yeah? surprised. Yeah, hmm. Barney doesn't go out at all. Hmm. 
and Mr. Mr. doesn't seem to bother. In the morning, they're all in the fenced area, and they're all within a short distance of each other. But as the day goes on, then, then Fred comes out. But Barney and Mr. Mr. always stay inside inside the fence. Yeah. Well, he's still he's still just well, a. Well, he's not quite a year. When he turns yeah. a year, then then we'll see what happens. Yep. Yeah. Hope you all had a great day, and I will see you in my next video. Take care. Bye bye.